Hey there. So it is 5 p.m. on Saturday evening. I thought I'd come down a little earlier and uh, catch light this time. Uh, uh, but it's really, really warm in this car with the sun up and everything, so we'll see how long I can do this before I die. Uh, uh, so I hope everybody had a wonderful day today. The weather was absolutely gorgeous today. Absolutely gorgeous. And quite frankly, I would be doing this video in my backyard in the shade if um, I didn't think that uh, my son would uh, come out and bother me. Although it is still daylight. He doesn't usually come out during the day, but his girlfriend's over right now, so she makes him come outside and do the daylight thing. Um, I got my patio set up today, which was nice. Perfect day for it. Um, got the tape, got the, I have a patio rug, an outdoor rug that I put down and got my table and my chairs out and set out the flower pots that my youngest made earlier in the week and everything looks really pretty. I'm really happy with it. And, uh, you know, my eldest and his girlfriend went swimming for a while and, you know, they played in the pool and horsed around while I died setting up the patio. <laughs> but, uh, it was nice, you know, the three of us all sat out under my patio and we chit-chatted and... They did shit on their phone. I did shit on my phone. And then uh, her little brother came over. Um, their mother dropped him off. and or Somebody dropped him off. And uh, so I don't think she drives. But um, somebody dropped him off. And he played in the pool for all. It was wicked hot today. Um, they had asked me yesterday if her little brother could come over and go swimming and I said yeah the pool needs to be used get in the pool and he's a sweet little kid it's the first time I've actually met him I've seen him but I've never actually met him he's a super sweet kid <sighs> he's really cute really hyper <laughs> typical typical young boy but he had a great time in the pool and, you know, his sister went in with him for a little bit. And my buddy came over. I called him up and told him, you know, I'm setting up the patio today. <sighs> so if you want to come sit outside, it's, it's very well shaded under the, I call it an arbor. I don't know what it's actually called. It's a shelter anyway. Um, so he came over and. We all sat outside for a bit, chewed the fat, and it was nice. He's still working on my laptop. Um, I don't know, he was telling me he needs stuff. I, I don't know what it is, I don't care, I don't wanna know. I don't need to know. He knows, so it's all good. So, he was saying that he had to order some stuff. Um, and it's expected to arrive on Monday or Tuesday, so I guess Tuesday at some point he's going to dink around with my laptop and hopefully we can get it working. I mean, it was, I don't know, it, it was working, but it wasn't doing everything it was supposed to do. I think it was overheating and so it's, you know, we just sort of shut off. Um, so the fan needs fixing and whatever, not my area, but, um, so we'll see. I'm really hoping we can get, get that going and I can start using my other camera because ideally, especially with this heat, I mean, I, I am more comfortable filming in my car for whatever reason, 
but to sit in the sun in my car is deadly. So I would like to be able to somehow hook it to my rear view mirror or something and um, just kind of putter around, you know, and hopefully not, you know, die in the heat. But um, so we'll see how that goes. We're still working on it. And the vlog that I put up, I think it, I think it was actually live this morning, but I put it up like late last night. Um, came up with that weird ratio, not supported or supported, not supported ratio or whatever the hell that message was. And I think that it might have had to do with the lack of light last night. I should have parked under the lamppost that I was beside, but I wasn't thinking of that and just, you know felt like talking to my camera so that's what I did and I'm pretty sure that it's all in the dark I didn't watch it back or anything I just I know that I was sitting here in the dark so I'm it's I'm pretty sure it's pretty dark um, but it was a good talk last night it was a good little, little chit chat with myself and I rather enjoyed doing it <sighs> So, but I think that's why I got that unsupported ratio thing. I, I think it had something to do with the severe lack of light because I filmed it vertically and I've never had a problem with a vertical video. So, uh, uh, and I made a point of not cussing in that video. It was hard. Just saying. Um... So I'm thinking it was the lack of light. So, oh, little kid fell down, poor kid. Oh, he's tough, he's fine, he's good, okay. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully this one will go up without a problem and I can do those screen end things, the pop-ups and whatever. Um, so we'll see. What else happened? I lead a rather uneventful life, so it's just kind of whatever pops into my head, you know? <sighs> it kills me, this park. They've, well, they closed this park down. See, my youngest is 11, so they closed this park down probably probably the year after I moved into this end of town because I specifically moved into the house that I bought because it is close to this park and uh, back in the day before Rona and all that garbage in this park they had um, all kinds of little festivals and stuff right there would be like this time of year would be probably coming into rib fest um and it it was just rib fest was like a three or four day event um get all kinds of vendors palm readers they sell clothes they sell trinkets sunglasses galore all that kind of stuff and then the main event of course by the title would be the ribs right five or six maybe seven different rib vendors from, you know, I think there maybe might be one from Canada, but there were like a whole bunch from the States, like Tennessee and whatever. Um, I never cared so much for the ribs because I, I don't eat meat, but they would do like corn on the cob and it would just be dripping in butter and it was friggin' awesome. And these, um, loaded baked potatoes with all kinds of stuff on them and um, there was face painting and uh, what's that tattooing that's not tattooing henna uh, henna tattoos and all kinds of stuff and uh, it was free to get into but the Shriners are usually at the at the gate and you you know donate whatever you wanted to the Shriners and whatever 
and then in the back in behind everything was like a little carnival with rides and the junk food and whatever and you could buy like a, a day bracelet or whatever or you could buy tickets like for the rides right and uh, it was always a good time it was kind of see if I can kind of show you so I can't see there's a glare okay so right back in there where those people are would be like kind of like beyond those picnic tables would be where the fair is and then the whole rib fest deal would be like all out in front of me here like all this all this and all in behind those hills um would be the rib fest and the clothing vendors and all that so it was always a good time right and like i said it was a whole weekend it was like i don't know i think it ran from like friday to sunday or something like that, maybe Thursday. And then after Rib Fest was Bay Fest in the same park. And that was, there would be a big stage and um, all these bands would come. And that was like, I think that would run like Thursday to Sunday. Um, and you could buy weekend passes and VIP passes, which were a waste of money. But the weekend passes were cool if you liked several of the bands that were coming, right? And I mean, there would be several bands coming because it was like a four day thing, right? So local bands would usually open, they would play during the day and then say around supper time, um, the professional bands would start, right? So we had bands like Kiss and Kim Mitchell and um, 5440. 5440 came a lot. They were really good. They even did, they even played Rib Fest um, a couple of times. Um, you know, we had Alice Cooper, we had lots of country bands. I don't know country bands, so I couldn't name them to you, but we had lots of country bands. We had the Black Eyed Peas. Um, Aerosmith. I remember Mum and I going to see Aerosmith. That was fantastic. Um, Iron Maiden was here. Actually, the year my brother and I went to see... Well, he wanted to see Iron Maiden. I could care less about Iron Maiden. I went, I came to see Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper played first, which I thought was an absolute ripoff. But I'm very biased because Alice is God. Um, but it was still a good show, even though it was during the daylight. Um, yeah, that was really, really good. That was a good time. Um, but yeah, we haven't done those in a long time. I think the lady that ran it, ran it into the ground. I think she bankrupted the whole thing. I think she got greedy, didn't pay vendors and whatever. She's like a big name in this town. She can eat a dick for all I care. I think she's a twat. Um, they actually own, well, I think it was originally her father and then she took it over. Let's see if I can, you hear we're pretty far away, but take my sunglasses off so let's see here the yellow building there that I believe is that should be Patty Flannery's that is a good restaurant but it is um, very expensive it's very Irish but on the other side of that sorry shaky hand can't really on the other side of that is uh, Stokes on the Bay and the lady that now owns that place ran Bayfest and uh, well, her family did and I think at some point she did and there was a big thing in the paper I don't know maybe four years ago that vendors weren't getting paid and I mean that's not cool it's all the vendors to my knowledge are all local vendors right local clothing places and 
you know, people sell their art and all that kind of stuff and they weren't getting paid. So I think she screwed the town and it was a big money maker for this town, big money maker. Like we used to get a lot of people from uh, Michigan and stuff over here and they would camp. There was like a, a section they did off for um, camping and they would camp here for the weekend in the park while uh, Bayfest was going on. It was a huge thing. People would come and, uh, you know, the hotels be full around here. It was a huge money maker for the town. Huge. So, you know, I, I'm surprised her restaurant wasn't completely boycotted and she wasn't run out of town because that was crazy. You know, small town mobs and such. Oh, there's a breeze, thank God. But yeah, it used to be a really good time. And that's why I moved into the house that I moved at. Um, because I used to be uptown and I moved downtown specifically for this park. And the year after I bought the house, they closed the goddamn park. Like the whole boardwalk was closed. Something about some sort of chemical leak or whatever. And Whatever the hell it was, I don't know what the hell it was, but the whole thing was gated off, and you couldn't, you couldn't even go walk the boardwalk. It was nuts for years, for years. So, <clears throat> I think, well, no, I took my boys down once before the park shut, so my youngest would have been extremely little. Like I don't even think he was sitting up by himself yet, and my eldest would have been no more than ten. Um, and, uh, we did, we did the park a couple of times. Well, he, my eldest would have been nine because, yeah, I mean, my youngest was literally a bebe. And, um, oh, drop, drop the damn, f a little excitement for you. <laughs> oh, Sorry. There was all kinds of weirdness there. I dropped my phone and then I thought it was paused and it wasn't. So that'll probably be a two-parter. I am so sorry. I don't know how that'll come up. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I did take the kids to that part, to the park here um, once or twice before they shut the park down. And then the, shark, the, the park was shut down until maybe two years ago. So... I think my son, my youngest was like nine uh, when the park finally reopened. And at that point he was kind of over the whole park thing, right? I was so pissed. I mean, the amount of crap that I've put up with because my street has a lot of trash on it. It really does. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily the street itself, but the neighborhood, right? Like there's a lot of hardcore junkies and power drinkers and general shit disturbers um, that like to come down and cause craziness on the street and whatever. But, um, you know, it cleaned up actually for a little while. It was, it was very quiet and nice and whatever. And then, I don't know, Three or four years ago maybe it picked up again but that's a lot to do with I mean there's a lot of fly-by-night slumlords that buy up old duplexes excuse me and rent these places out to anybody they don't care they don't do background checks they don't do police checks they don't do credit checks they don't care and then the neighborhood has to put up with it right like and like I've said before, in this town, you can call the cops all you want, but they don't, they don't care. I've never called a cop in this town for any issue that they, and, and have them actually deal with it, ever. Not a one. So, we don't bother. But if need be, we will handle that shit. <laughs> it has been done before. <laughs> But it's a pretty park, but they've got all these trees up now. 
We're going to try this one more time. I'm sorry if this is annoying. I'm not getting out of my car to walk around. It's too hot. See all these little trees that they've planted? Like it's a nice idea and everything. But it's going to take forever for them to fill out. And there is zero, and I mean zero, shade throughout this park. Uh, uh, it is hot as balls walking through this park. Now, if you walk along the boardwalk, along the water, it's not too bad, right? Nice breeze off the water, perfect. Same in the other park, uh, Canaterra Park, where I filmed during the day yesterday. Um, if you go down by where the trip trucks are, because that park area is huge. There's Canaterra Park, which is ginormous. And then back the other way is uh, where all the chip trucks are and there's soccer parks and the casino and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's a, like the trees are much more mature and there's just a lot more shade. And uh, but it's a really pretty park and there's always, always an amazing breeze down there so if it's hot as hell up in town then we usually jump in the car and go chill under the and like literally chill under the bridge for a while and you see the big boats coming and going and I love those things those great big shipping boats and you know you see people come out in, in their personal boats and their yachts and whatever and they're um, sailboats and stuff and some people actually go swimming in that area like directly under the Blue Water Bridge it connects over to the States and people will actually jump off the rocks and go swimming and, and I mean you can see the tide in there it, it's just absolutely madness to me it blows my mind but I'm not from here so <laughs> whatever um, I mean shit I used to go swimming in Lake Ontario so who the hell am I to judge right when you're from Toronto you go swimming in Lake Ontario you go to the Toronto Islands you get onto the beach and you go swimming in Lake Ontario I don't know if I do it now but <laughs> when I was a kid I didn't know no better I was like I'm hot I'm going swimming <laughs> Although I remember when my mom took us to the Toronto Islands. I think we, I only remember going once, but we must have gone more than that. But you take the ferry boat across and to the Toronto Islands. And there's like a carnival up there. And, you know, all kinds of rides and junk food and whatever. And the beach, and whatever. It's a good time. But when we went, I remember it rained like all day and so, but periodically, right? So you would come out and, um, you walk around and whatever, and it'd be a pure blue sky. And the thing of it was, it was a blue sky the whole damn day. But then all of a sudden it would just start pouring, but it was sunny, and whatever everybody go running under shelter and, you know hiding under a tree or whatever sorry these people just pulled in beside me and they're making me soft conscious um but it was a good day it was a beautiful day wet day but it was a good time and uh you know at one point we had decided that we were wicked hot and uh wanted to go swimming so we went to the beach area and um, when I was a kid I wasn't much of a thinker I was more of a doer I just kind of got an idea and I ran with it <laughs> and uh, went to the water good times but my brother absolutely refused to go swimming in the lake right He's probably 16, 18 months older than I am, but still, you know, 
he knew a lot more about stuff than I did. I didn't care. And he's like, no, are you kidding me? Do you know how polluted Lake Ontario is? And, er, 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 er. You know, all this weird stuff's going to happen to us and la, la, la. And I'm already splashing around in the water. Yay. <laughs> I think my mom even went in too. She probably, she probably waited in the water a little bit. And she was like, whatever, stay on, the, stay on the beach and sweat your balls off. I don't care. Do you, bud? We're in the water. We getting cool. It was hot. It was really hot. But it was a good time. We had, we had lots of fun and got all sunburnt and ate our body work, body weight and junk food and we never became radioactive or anything. Nobody grew a third nipple or a 11th toe or anything. So it was fine. <laughs> My brother threw such a fit. I'll never forget that. That was so funny. Excuse me. I've been outside for a lot today. I'm not accustomed to it and feeling very tired. I'm trying to think about what to do for dinner tonight. My uh, son and his girlfriend ordered Chinese. I think it came shortly as I was getting ready to leave. And uh, when they were discussing it, um, Um, they had asked me if I wanted anything and I said, no, I said, I don't, I don't have the money to, to pitch in. So you guys do you and, you know, have your, have your Chinese food and watch your movie and whatever. I'll go vlog, <sighs> leave you guys alone. You know, you can have your little, your little dinner date and, uh, I don't know, I'll eat some cheese and crackers later have a couple scoops of peanut butter, whatever. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's okay, you don't, you know. And I was like, no, it, it doesn't work that way, you know. I don't have the money, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, it's fine, don't worry about it. And uh, I think my son was getting pissed at me. But I said, you know, uh, it's different, you know. If, if you need, you know, you need to eat and we don't have food in the house, I will find the money to make sure that you've got food. But, and it's not like we don't have any food. I mean, there's tons of food. But our AC is down and I'm not heating up my house to cook shit. But I said, you know, I have an electric frying pan. I can cook up some hot dogs for you guys or whatever. They were like, oh no, they wanted this Chinese food, so that's fine. He's got a job, so dude, he's paid his rent. It's fine. Uh, uh. But I think he was getting pissed because I wouldn't, you know, I, I don't do freebies. I, I don't do freebies. So if I can't afford to pitch in, then I'm not, I'm not doing that. Uh, uh. You know, like I said, I'll, I'll find the money to feed the kids, but you know, if I was absolutely starving to death, I bet you'd suck it up and eat a hot dog, you know. But uh, because I don't have any, I don't have any. Um, salad or fruit or whatever in the house right now so and I'm out of cheese too so all I have is the processed crap that my youngest eats <sighs> but I said nope it's fine I can you know have some cheese and crackers or some peanut butter or whatever it's fine <sighs> I 
a bitch could stand to lose a little bit of weight anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> I have reserves. It's fine. <laughs> Today is not going to kill me. And I don't get super hungry when it's hot like this anyway. Like, certainly can't eat hot food. Like, goddamn. So, it's fine. Whatever. I'm drinking some Diet Pepsi right now, and it's going to mess me up later, I can tell. Pop makes me so gassy. TMI, but sorry. Facts. So if I start burping and stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> it has that effect on me. But... Oh, we're starting to, starting to get some cloudage. Oh, can I take these off? Nope, it's too bright still. Sorry. And yes, I am wearing the same shirt, see, that I was wearing yesterday. I don't care. <laughs> I sprayed it down with my body spray. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. I'm sitting in my car vlogging, and I've been working around outside, so... No sense in making more laundry for me to do. Which I still have to put away. Christ, I got a month's worth of laundry that I did. Last weekend or whatever the hell it was I did it. Never put it away. My son put, my youngest put his away. Because he's a good boy. And then the other day I did, excuse me, there we go. <clears throat> like a month's worth of towels. Which are clean and now folded. But I have not yet brought them upstairs and put them away. My house is too warm. I just can't be bothered. There's clean towels in the bathroom, so it's fine. <laughs> but I do need to sweep and, you know, at least do that. Because I hate when you walk and you get little doodads on the bottom of your feet. That drives me freaking crazy. So. Do that tonight when it cools down a little bit. Breeze is nice. Oh my god. So, yeah. It, it's, it's been a good day, you know. It's, it's been a nice day. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too exciting. Just nice. It was really nice to sit and talk to the kids tonight. Or tonight, Jesus. This afternoon. It's not very often that they deign to sit down and talk to me. So. <laughs> You know, they're in their 20s, whatever. <laughs> and it's funny, because I'm always sad, right? Like, come talk to me. Come play with me. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm fun. <laughs> and then they do, and I don't give two damn shits of what it is that they're talking to me about. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't even understand half of what they're talking about. Like, my eldest will start carrying on about video games and movies and stuff that I've never heard of, and I don't play video games, so there's that and I sit there going oh, really oh. <laughs> damned if you do damned if you don't you know but it was nice to sit down and chit chat and even when we weren't talking just to sit and just spend quiet time together, right? To, to be in each other's presence was nice. I'm down for that. <sighs> but huh. and then I told my boyfriend before I came out to, to vlog, he had to go to work for a bit, well for about half the day I guess. He was not happy. He was not a happy big daddy. But uh, When he came home, he texted me, let me know he was home, and said he was going to go out and um, do a walk and whatever. And uh, I said, that's great. 
Um, I'm going to go vlog in a minute, I think. And uh, he says, oh, you've you know, been doing that a lot lately. I said, well, there's not much else to do, right? Everything's still closed. Whatever. So. Go vlog. Go talk to myself for a while. <laughs> and, uh. I said I like it, you know, I, you know, it sure beats, you know, I mean, I do my, my housework and whatever, and I find stuff to do, keep relatively busy. It's harder right now, because like I said, my AC is on the fritz, and I just, I hate sweating. I hate it. I'm not getting paid, it's not worth it. So... You know, I don't have my youngest on the weekends, and so, you know, might as well just go do a vlog. Go down and talk to myself for a while, you know. Sometimes, you know, interesting things pop up, and sometimes it's just a mindless, mindless banter, but, you know, I... I I like to do it. You know, it, it, I, I try and like during the week for sure, I try and do around the same time, right? Like between like 1230 and maybe 130 because that's when my youngest gets back online for his afternoon portion of class, right? So while he's doing that, I'll go out in the, you know, go get a coffee if I can and sit out in the car and excuse me do a do a vlog for excuse me oh that pop my goodness sorry you know and, and just vlog for anywhere from 20 minutes to half an hour right but it's something that I can do kind of in schedule right so that like I I like to have plans for the day, so such and such a time until such and such a time, I'll, you know, clean the house or do laundry or vlog, go for a walk with the kids, and, you know, I like a schedule, so otherwise I'll literally sit on the couch and do nothing, like... As much as I like to be busy, like for, for my own sanity, I need to be busy. Because if I can't find stuff to do, and whatever, and even if it's just something to do for an hour, sit down for 20 minutes, do something for a couple of hours, that, you know, then I will literally sit on the couch and watch everything that there is on YouTube and dink around on Facebook and, um, you know, I don't have cable, but I might, I own a few seasons of shows and I might, you know, sit and watch all those. Sorry, there's people. And, uh, you know, just be an absolute waste of a human being so I try to schedule myself so that because then in my head it's like okay this is it's good like I have to do this right it's like going to work right that's why I like working that's why I, I need I need that because sitting on the couch and doing YouTube and Facebook and whatever is fun for 20 minutes or 45 minutes, but when it becomes all day, every day, you know, I don't really focus on it. It's just kind of background noise. I'm just kind of going off in my own thing and, you know, then I get stuck in my head and that's not good. And then I get down on myself and, you know, all that self-deprecating shit leaks in and I find it really hard to 
pull myself out of that. So we just try to keep busy so we can ignore that shit, right? But that's also why I like doing these vlogs because, you know, I'm hoping, and, and I don't think that it's happened yet. I mean, I, I've talked a little bit about my mom and whatever, but um, eventually, I'm hoping, my goal is that through, you know, just sort of sitting and in a, in a relaxed sort of situation um, by myself, because I, I won't do around people. Um, that eventually, you know, I'll, I'll start talking about, you know, things that get me in a funk. And maybe even when I'm in a funk, I don't know. I don't know if I would have the presence of mind to grab my phone or pick up my camera. And, um, maybe more so on that camera because it doesn't have a viewfinder, so I can't see myself. So I might, I don't know, I might be more likely if I can get it to, to do the way that I want to do it. Um, I might be able to turn it on and just go. I don't know. Um, but that's my goal. To be, to be able to do that. Um, and if people watch it, great. If people don't, that's great too. I, It's all fine with me. <sighs> I gotta switch hands, sorry. Um, but you know. It's always good to have a goal, right? Hmm. That's what they say. That's what they tell me. So. I don't know, we're at the 40 minute mark and I don't feel like I have much more to say. Um, so, hope everybody's doing well. I hope nobody got sunburnt. That's the other thing. <laughs> My boy's girlfriend is so sunburnt. Just on like one shoulder, it's like trucker burn, but on the back, like back of the shoulder. Poor thing. Oh my God. I thought I had issues with burning. she came out to get into the pool this afternoon and I was like oh my. like and she's like I know right weirdo <laughs> she's the sweetest thing <laughs> anyways I don't know it was a random thought to end off with but uh, yeah so I hope everybody's doing well and has a great weekend and Hopefully the weather's good where you are and you're enjoying it. And, um, yeah. I don't know. If I get bored tonight, maybe I'll do another one. We'll see. If I do, I'll try to perk under a lamppost. We'll see how that goes. Alrighty. We'll talk later. <laughs>